right, welcome back. We're here in our basic default cube scene, more or less, with just a single image plane and a camera. And what we're going to do here is actually just set up some basic tune shaders. And it's really simple. You'll, I think you'll quite enjoy this process. It turns rendering more into a coloring book. So first things first, we're going to come into the shader editor. I'm sure you guys are all in love with these node systems by now. Uh, you'll all become, I'm sure, Python enthusiasts after all of this. Just kidding. I don't know Python. I just do visual scripting like this, and I'm totally fine. You could probably be too. To set up a tune shader, well, I'll even jump into the render view here and unpilot my camera. All you need to do is press Shift A and search up a shader to RGB node. And once that's plugged in, we're going to add another one. So Shift A, and we're going to grab a color ramp. So that's all you really got to do. And to control this tune shader, we can just change the colors. So on one hot side, it will be the light color, and the other will be the shadow color. And you may not totally get exactly what this means at the moment, and that's OK. I'm actually going to change the ground plane to also be the same material. So I'm going to call this tune 1. That way I can find it. So I'll just now add tune 1. And I'm actually going to just, in this shader, I'm going to hold Control and right click to bring the knife and slice that off. And I'm just going to add a fresh principled BSDF because I had an, it was an improper material there. OK. And that light reflection, when you have the radius set to zero, you get this strange light artifact. So I'm just going to increase that. But back into the shader to RGB setup here. If we change the colors on the color ramp, it will obviously change the color of the scene. But where it starts to get really interesting is when you, for example, change the shadow color. And now we already have a really nice smooth gradient effect just with that simple adjustment from pink to blue. And what it is essentially doing is it is colorizing the scene based off of the lighting setup. So instead of colorizing based off of the material and adding shadows from the lighting, it is now receiving color from the lighting. And you can adjust this in many ways. In the color ramp, there are a bunch of different types of transition you can have. For example, if you want constant, this will make it very harsh. You're only getting color exactly where the light is hitting. And so if we change this into a sunlight, for example, you'll have very harsh and one directional lighting here. We can reduce the power a bit. It won't really make a huge difference. But yeah, you'll see here as I rotate the sun, it's now just stylizing this into pink and blue, chewing gum. And if you slide this bar, you'll find you'll have a little bit more variation. We can additionally add more slices into this and add additional colors into the mix like this. And now you'll see where there are three lighting conditions. We're going to have three colors. And it's just a matter here of where I move this to one side here to the left. That means that I have moved the threshold of the lighting below the green level. Boom. Now we have three colors. You can play around with these different methods of transition. So constant is you'll have flat color regions. Ease will give you pretty soft transitions between the colors, but they will still retain like a full color sheet. Linear is going to give you more of a gradient effect. And actually, you'll see here now the sun isn't really a good demonstrator of this anymore. So I'm going to put my point light back in. And this will make it really obvious how these different transitions are affecting. So ease will be a slightly less harsh. Linear is the standard kind of transition from the three colors. And you'll have B-spline and, you know, of course, constant. And cardinal is the other one. And I'm not really crazy about how some of these effects play out. They look strange to me. Uh, but it really depends a lot on your color settings and the colors you're using and the kind of geometry and everything. In general, though, linear and constant are probably where you're going to want to play around the most. Uh, for this one, I'm actually going to be pretty boring. Uh, so yeah, shame on me. Don't, don't be like me. Don't be boring. Be exciting. Be happy and vibrant and uh, alive. And here, I'm going to set up a black to white. And here I made it very extreme. I might actually increase. I'll, I'll move my light, actually, a bit. I will add a zero onto it. 
and now I'm just going to light it like this because what I want to play around with is this two-tone kind of minimalistic style. It's more my speed. And that's, a, that's all it is. That's all you need to do for a simple tune shader. And as I mentioned before, most of the magic really comes in with the positions of your lighting. A big part of it is just going to be you playing around with the lights in the scene after you've picked a color palette. Another interesting thing that you can do is, for example, here I have both of these using the same tune shader, but I could duplicate this and change its color. So now my cube is white, but my ground is a nice sky blue. And let's make it... I also really like red, so I'll do red. But now, of course, you can just keep moving that around, and the shadow color for each will be respected. So of course I could change the shadows on this to be white. You could do all sorts of wild stuff, but really like again it changes the scene into more of a coloring book. And I really encourage you to jump into your camera and your scene and start colorizing it. But before you do that, uh, in the next video we're going to be talking about how you're going to be implementing this into your scene. And I think you'll find that there's going to be some complications because your scenes are really involved and there's going to be a little bit of cleanup you're going to have to do. We'll do that in the next video.